We're asked to sketch f of x is equal to 4x squared plus x minus 2 over 4x minus 3. All right, so first let's see if this is in the lowest terms. We would want to try to factor the numerator there, 4x squared plus x minus 8. So if we try that AC method, you know, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Is there a pair of numbers that multiplies to negative 8 and adds to positive 1? And there isn't a pair of numbers that does that, so the numerator doesn't factor. And our rational function is in lowest terms. So let's analyze it. Let's find any vertical asymptotes, setting the denominator to 0. We find a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 fourths. Horizontal asymptote. The degree of the numerator is 2. The degree of the denominator is 1. So since uh, the degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, there's uh, none. There's no horizontal asymptote. But notice that the numerator is degree 2 and the denominator is degree 1. And so when that happens, when the degree of the numerator is exactly one more than the degree of the denominator, that tells us that we have a slant asymptote. So let's find the slant asymptote. And we'll use long division to find that. So we have 4x minus 3 divides into 4x squared plus x minus 2. All right, so we go through the long division here. This would give me an x. Uh, so that's a 4x squared minus 3x. And subtracting that quantity, 1 minus negative 3 is 4. So I'd have a 4x and a minus 2 here. So that's a plus 1. So 4x minus 3. Subtracting the quantity, it would give me a 1. And so then that tells me that the function is equal to, is equivalent to, x plus 1 plus 1 over 4x minus 3. And my slant asymptote is defined by y equals x plus 1. I'm just getting that from the quotient of the long division. All right, let's see if there's any x-intercepts. So we, we need the 4x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. We know it doesn't factor because we tried that already. So we would use the quadratic formula maybe. And so x would equal negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 32. So it would be 33 over 4. So that's not particularly nice. You know, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 33 over 4. And we could say, well, the square root of 33 is a little bit less than 6. And we could go from there. Um, now, to, uh, to approximate these. But they're not nice numbers, is, is my point here. We have a y-intercept. That's a little easier. The y-intercept letting x equal 0 f of 0 would give me a negative 2 over a negative 3, which is 2 thirds. So I do have the point 0, 2 thirds. So I've got some information here that I can use to start drawing the function. I know I know I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 fourths. So I can draw in that x equals 3 fourths, which is about here. And I know that I have a slant asymptote at, x equal, at y equals x plus 1. So drawing y equals x plus 1 with a dotted line. That's something like that. And all I have right now is a y-intercept, which is here. 
and 0 2 thirds. So since it kind of has to follow the, the asymptotes, I know this leg of the curve is going to do something like this. Now, as for the other leg of the curve, well, I have to have some values on the other side of x equals 3 fourths. Right, I know what happens to the left of the asymptote. What happens to the right of, that, of the vertical asymptote, I should say? So let's substitute a couple numbers for x. How about 1? f of 1 would be 4 plus 1 minus 2 over 4 minus 3. So that's 5 minus 2, that's 3 over 1, which is 3. f of 1 equals 3, so that's the point 1, 3. So I would I could plot the point 1, 3. Let's plot one more point. Let's get another point. How about f of 2, just to verify things? f of 2 would be 4 times 4, that's 16, plus 2 minus 2. Over 4 times 2 is 8 minus 3. So that's 16 over 5, which is 3.2. So we have 2, 3.2. So 2, 3.2 is a little bit higher, like that. So kind of so looking from that, I sort of think that the curve's going to do this. And so there's a rough sketch of the curve. Um, f of x is 4x squared plus x minus 2 over 4x minus 3.